Hey everybody, it's Lisa and today is Saturday and I thought I would do a quick video. I've had a lot of questions asked, some asked, you know, several times. So I thought I would get on here and do just a quick video to answer a few questions. And I thought I would show you guys that are so worried about Spooky Bear. He is just fine. Yes, he is a good boy. He really... <laughs> so, hey guys. Hey guys. He's purring. Hey, sweet boy. He never missed a beat. He was hungry just as soon as he came home. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. I will just start right off with Dove Soap. You know, I did that video saying that my dermatologist said that she used Dove Soap, and then so many of you said that you used Dove Soap, and that your mom and your sister and everything. So I started using it, and I have been so pleased. I mean, I would not go back for anything now. And I know that there are so many. Yesterday, or day before yesterday, I think, day before yesterday, I went to Walmart, and I was looking at all the different ones, trying to pick out the exact same one I had, because the first time I had just bought two bars, so I was having to take mine from the shower to the sink, because I had given the other one to Brooke. And um, this is it. It's the, it's really the, as you probably heard, the weather's real bad here. We're gonna go to a movie today, but, um, so the light's real bad, but it's the Dove Sensitive Skin Unscented Bar. Beauty Bar, hypoallergenic, fragrance free. A quarter moisturizing cream. This is what it looks like. It's in the, oh goodness, you can't see it. Maybe if I put it back here. It's got like a minty green little thing back here and it's real, just look for the sensitive skin. The BB cream. I love this. I just love it. I have it on today. And the one I use is, let's see, Super Magic BB. It says premium across the top. And then it says Cosma Hand Skin Super Magic BB, perfect super magic BB cream is the one that it is. Looks just like this. And Amy said that she got it from Amazon. So a couple of you have asked, was I gonna get some and sell it on my website? And I might do that just so it's easier and you'll know I can compare it to the one I have as far as the packaging and everything. And um, I'll check on that and see. Okay. Um, the other day, I'm so sorry that I did not mention the brow pencil that I was using. I just, when I do my tutorials, I just don't think the whole way through. I'm kind of just, you know, get in the moment. But um, he can hear Spooky. He wants to go. He wants me to let him out in the car. Okay, so, so the, the brow pencil that, I would say it's my favorite. It's the Lancome Blonde. That's just all it says. Natural Blonde. Sorry, the, the um, no, Natural Blonde Lancome. And you can see, and it's the one that has that good spooly thing on that side. And it's just, if I had to pick one brow pencil, it would be this. One brow gel, it would be the Anastasia Clear. And if I had to pick one brow powder, it would probably be the Laura Mercier or MAC Omega. That would be my choices. So you can probably look for me to sell a few things on my website that I'm not using. And... Um, that's another question. A lot of you say, you know, I don't know how to use your store. Whenever I go, there's nothing there. That is because so many people complained that they did not want to see things that are sold out. So we've got it set to where when something is sold, it disappears off of the store. And so when you don't see anything, that just means everything's sold out. Um, I kind of liked leaving it up there because then if you saw something that was sold out, I mean, there might be a possibility I could get it again. So um, what I might do is set it back like it was, and you can just push the button that puts it like in a grid. I can't remember what the button's called. I'll put the word down here. And then you can see if it's sold out or not without having to scroll through. But um, I'll just, I'll think about that. Okay. The, my favorite lip liner I've been using lately, and I've told you, is the Dior Linen. And I just saw it at the counter the other day. But today, I started thinking of another lip liner that I used to just love and use all the time. And I thought, you know, I bet it's about the same color. And it is. It's just a tad bit darker. And I've got it on today, and it is the Lancome Bronzel. And I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, oh, yeah, you know, you've used it before because it is just a beautiful lip liner. So if the Dior is you know 
not accessible. I don't know how much more expensive it is. I can't imagine it being that much more than the Lancome, but you could find the Lancome maybe on eBay or something. But Bronzelle is a beautiful brown. It's a brown, but it's a natural. You know, you can put pretty much anything with it and if you've blended it out. So that's that. And then the a few of you asked me, what did I prefer? The Guerlain bronzer or the Dior powder? And that's something I just can't answer yet because I haven't used this one enough to know. Now I did use this again today and I loved it. So I can say that I think this might be easier to use because I'm not having to avoid the pink when I, you know, put my brush in it. And um, then you've asked me, you know, was it going to be too dark for people that were NC15 and stuff like that. I am, if I ever have, when I did wear MAC, I wore NC35. NC30 or NC35 and um, I like this I think it's perfect what I understand and I don't know this because I don't have a Guerlain counter is I just understood that the blondes is very light and it's more pink toned whereas this is more cool yellow toned and that's what made me go for this so um, I would say I don't know you can just you can use a light hand on this and you can just use those two lighter top colors it would be hard for me to answer that question without trying them both. But I can just say that I don't have any problem at all with this being too dark. I am going to, <clears throat> this afternoon, we kind of took last night off from selling and packing, but today we are gonna finish up packing. I had a lot of loose ends with people I didn't have their address and just some things like that. Um, and then after I get everything settled, I'm going to be adding some more products and I have just a bunch here to add, like um, my a bunch of my Lorac trios, some MAC palettes, some NARS blushes, a Chanel blush. Um, this is something I'm just not crazy about. It's just, I used it today, and I just think my hair does better without it. So I've only used it twice. I'll probably put that on my blog. Um, and I've got some more clothes, and I hear Will calling me, so let me go answer him. Oh, goodness, it's crazy out here. Um, it's, I don't know if you guys go by this rule or not, but usually on Valentine's Day is when I know it's time to cut our roses and our crepe myrtles back. So we're a little bit late and John is out there cutting back the um, trees. He doesn't trust anybody else to do it. But um, so anyway, where was I? Um, but anyway, so I do have some more clothes and everything. And um, I just wanted to um, talk to you about that. I have pretty much sold gosh almost everything that I had like all of the jeans that I didn't like most of the shoes I still have some shoes to list and um, just earrings perfume makeup um, hair products I wasn't using and that has allowed me to go and get almost a whole new wardrobe and um, I understand that you know some people's taste isn't the same as mine um, but I would encourage you that if you would like new things, maybe you could do the same thing. I know a lot of people list their things on eBay. Um, my friend Jan said that she does that. And I know a lot of women that do that, that when the new season starts, the things that they don't want anymore, they just list them on eBay and then they're able to go buy new things. And, um, and I mean, I understand that, you know, not everybody, you know, agrees with the things that I do, but, um, I just, I try not to judge people because I know I'm not perfect, so um, I guess I'll just leave it there. <laughs> but I do appreciate all of your support, and um, as far as Spooky Bear goes, he is wonderful, and I'm sure that those of you um, that know me, you know my character, and um, you know that I love my kitties. Yesterday morning, I walked in John's study, and he was had his little butt on the very end of his chair, and he said, gosh, it's hard to sit in this chair like this, and I looked, and it was so funny. There was Little Man sitting in his chair because Little Man loves to sit in John's office chair, and I have walked in there, and John would pull up a little folding chair and sit at his computer while Little Man is sitting in his chair, and that's what he was doing yesterday is he was letting Little Man sit in his chair. And the point I'm trying to make is we love our kitties and um, I would never do anything to hurt them. I take good care of my cats. And um, if that night when I saw Spooky Bear, if I had known that his, that what was wrong, if I had known that his jaw was hurt, I certainly would have taken him to the vet. 
um, I thought, because this has happened to our cats many, many times, that they have eaten a bug or something and had an allergic reaction and their mouth is open. And it was nine o'clock at night and both of my children were in bed and I took him, I was there first thing in the morning before the vet even opened. And it really has absolutely nothing to do with money. I've spent thousands on my animals and I would spend thousands again. And I really don't think that what I spend in, you know, my life, I don't really don't, I'm 41 years old and I just don't really think that I have to answer to anyone. And like when I get comments that say, Lisa, I'm a long time subscriber, that almost makes it worse to me because I feel like, well, then you should know. You know, you should know what kind of person I am. And I've been on here for over three years and you know me. So um, I just want to encourage you that, you know, if you want to be able to spend the money on what you want to, I applaud you for that. And um, if you would like to buy some new clothes, um, then maybe you would like to sell all your old stuff and then you could go buy some new clothes too. And um, when I, you know, I said I wasn't going to mention prices because I felt bad about it. Well, so many people said, oh, I want you to, you know, I want you to tell us the prices. I really didn't realize people were going to be sitting there with calculators um, adding it up. So I really don't need to know. I mean, I know how much I spend. John knows how much I spend. And um, I really don't need anybody to tell me. <laughs> so, um, and I, I really don't want to block people. But I just feel like I'm not going to, I just don't want a bunch of negativity on my videos. I mean, I just don't. I don't want to wake up in the morning to a bunch of snide comments. So um, I'll just leave it there. So I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day and then let you go. Okay, so today I have on that new shirt that I showed you yesterday. It's the Michael Lauren and I just love it. And I just really wish you guys could feel it. But you can see how the sleeves are kind of like the dolman sleeves and it just hangs so nice and um, I'll show you my jewelry in a little bit and then I do have on my below the belt belt but I don't think I'm gonna do my this one so blousy and long I'll probably just leave it out the pants long, I have on are just yeah. some current Elliot's that I got a long time ago on sale at Oliver and um, they're a little big but I love them <laughs> I just tighten my belt and um, let me show you my shoes And then the shoes are the Jeffrey Campbell um, Clift, C-L-I-F-T, and the Python. And I just love them. I think they're just perfect. They're very, very comfortable too. And just the perfect amount of funkiness for the outfit. Okay, so the earrings that I'm wearing today in this little necklace are Betsy and Aya. And it's B-E-T-S-Y and I-Y-A handcrafted in Portland and I got those at Oliver and then this necklace is from Axe and Apple and this one is the Dean Davidson Plaza ring and the Lee Elena bracelet this is just the um, I'm not sure what this is this one's called the color but I think it's called bone or something like that um, the Dean Davidson tube bracelet and my fossil aluminum watch and then the nail polish I have on today is a really neat color when I walked in Ulta yesterday I went to go get some petty scrubbers for those of you that live in Canada I had a request for those and um, Justine the girl that my friend there um, she had this on and I asked her because it was just such a neat color and it's Essie smoking hot and I just loved that name so that's what this is and it's neat it's like a dark purpley gray no shimmer and it's um it's just a neat color so i used it last night and painted my nails and i have really enjoyed this this was a gift from liz in canada and it's the se top coat um good to go top coat and it's been really good i have liked it just as much probably better as the sesh vite it dries fast so I hope and it's you guys nice have fit. a wonderful day we are going to go see the lorax at the movies today and so that should be fun and um i will see you soon bye bye